everybody, what's going on? It's McKenzie Chriswell here. Welcome back to another new video. Today will be the sequel or uh, the continuation of a video I made several, well, not several, a couple of months ago uh, about backing up Plex Media Server files. Uh, uh, the video I made a few months ago was showing people how to do it um, on, on a Mac, uh, which I thought the process translated quite quickly and easily over to PC. But I found out that is not the case after trying to uh, experiment with uh, hosting a Plex server on PC uh, and backing it up. Anyways, it's, 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 it's a little bit of a different process, uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it. As with the original video, however, uh, if you go down to the link in the description, you'll find a URL to a guide. Uh, on the Plex Media Server website that will give you kind of the bare bones instructions you need. Uh, for a number of people, I'm sure this little guide is all that you'll need to uh, go ahead and back up your server. So feel free to stop watching. I won't be offended, I promise. Uh, but uh, for everyone else, uh, just keep watching and I'll kind of guide you through it. Uh, so if you watch the original video, uh, you'll probably remember there's basically three things that we need to back up in order to have our Plex server ready to go. Uh, one, you'll need uh, all the actual Plex files itself. You'll need all your films, all your TV shows, your photos if you host them there, music, whatever it is you host in Plex, you'll need those actual original files. But I'm sure I didn't have to tell you that. Uh, the other two files are what's uh, a, a little tricky. You're going to need, there's basically metadata for all of your artwork, the information, that kind of thing that's stored uh, through the Plex app itself, uh, and you'll need to back that up. And then there is this weird uh, set of additional files uh, that Plex also stores. Uh, so it's important to have all three of these files in order to move from one system to the other. Now, in my particular case, uh, I have a uh, attached storage device where I'm already storing uh, my films and TV shows as part of Plex. So as far as backing up these files go, it would be as easy as, you know, here's all my films, here's all my TV shows. It would be as easy as simply copying and pasting or cutting and pasting onto my new computer's hard drive. And I do assume for most people who have set up Plex correctly, it's going to be a similar process. You just want to take the movie files themselves, your TV show files themselves, and move them onto some kind of external storage device where you can host them. And in this instance, what I'll do is I will create a, let's say, fake folder here, and I will call this hard drive backup. And this will be our hard drive where we are backing things up. And so basically, we're gonna need two folders here. We'll need our files and then Plex backup settings. Okay, and for our files, we'll go ahead and get those movies and TV show files. And let's see here. I'm just gonna drag a few of them over. Okay, and so now we have our movie files back up, backed up, and we can go ahead and get the settings. Now, the first setting that you'll need, the first group of settings you'll need to go ahead and get will be uh, in your uh, app data folder, which if you don't know, on PC is hidden and you can find all sorts of articles, how to find app. You can find all sorts of articles entirely telling you how to find these hidden folders where app data is stored on PC. A simple trick to go ahead and get to your app data folder is you're gonna put in uh, the percent sign, type in app data, all lowercase no spaces, followed by another percent sign then just go ahead and open up the app data folder. It'll take you into the roaming app section. So just come back out, come over to local. And now here are the app data files that are stored. You'll notice if we go ahead and find the Plex Media Server folder, folder we'll have all sorts of files, metadata, telling us data about our movies. And this is gonna look like a bunch of gibberish, but it's quite important. All kinds of stuff that is, is pretty essential to uh, the current build of your Plex media server. So what, uh, what we want to go ahead and do is make a copy of this and paste it over here into our Plex backup settings. So go ahead and paste. The size of this is actually going to depend quite a bit on the size of your Plex library itself. And so there's really no um, accurate way to predict how large your metadata folder 
will be. Uh, what I can do is just kind of show you mine and we can see how big mine will end up being. Um, so I've got a number of films. Uh, let's see here. I don't know exactly how many. Oh, 313 films and let's see. TV shows. And there are uh, 21 TV shows here with varying degrees of uh, content. Um, several seasons, you know, for example, several seasons of Family Guy, but, you know, just a couple of episodes of Atlanta. Uh, and my total size is going to be uh, right around 5 gigs. Uh, but while this is copying, we can go ahead and back up those other files we need, which are actually just a little bit more complicated to find. Uh, they are located inside of the Windows registry. Um, so in order to get those, what we need to do is, again, come over to our Windows bar and search for, uh, we'll say, RegEdit. And this is an app that is going to allow us to access Windows, the Windows registry. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and go full screen and give ourselves a little more room to see the sidebar. Let's collapse everything. Let's see here. Okay. So when you go ahead and jump into the registry, what you'll see is, of course, just your computer here. Uh, you want to go ahead and find your folder that is HKEY current user. Uh, that, uh, you need to be, of course, logged in with the user account that Plex was set up on. You'll go ahead and find your folder called Software, which point we'll find Plex Inc. Go ahead and come in here. We'll find another folder, folder called Plex Media Server, in which case you'll see a number of files here uh, ready to be copied. And the, the easiest way that I found to get things out of the registry is just to right click on the folder itself. So this Plex Media Server folder, go ahead and click export and we will export this to our hard drive. And now if we go ahead and come out of here, come back to our Plex backup settings, we should see a new folder with a Plex uh, data registry file. And this is basically a backup of those specific registry settings. So let's see, we'll rename this folder now registry files. Uh, of course I will guide you through going ahead and restoring these files. So whenever you go ahead and so let's pretend we're on our new computer now and here are our Plex backup settings. We would of course want to go ahead and install Plex, get everything set up, close it, go ahead, come to the app data folder again, come to our local Plex media server and simply replace the two files. Uh, the registry bit is just a little bit more complicated. We'll once again want to go ahead and open up the registry edit folder or app. Uh, and now what we'll want to go ahead and do with the with this file, we'll go up to file and we'll click import. And now we can go ahead and import that registry edit backup file. And you'll note and uh, We've gone ahead and backed up just this one individual file in the registry, and uh, everything should be good to go. Uh, that's about it, honestly. Uh, it's not super complicated, but seems like something that some people may need a little bit of a guide for. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to check out any of the other videos on my channel or drop a like, maybe leave a comment if your feelings are more complicated than a... Uh, thumbs up, or you can check out my website, maxi.co. There'll be a card. That's actually it for now. Uh, I guess I'll see you next time.